A standard Titleist Pro V1X has 328 dimples. This one has none. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Ah, oh, stop it, one out of one. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, um, this golf ball has no dimples on it whatsoever. It's the same weight as a golf ball. It's the same inner core as a golf ball. It's the same, it's, it's just got, I mean, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty smooth. If you are new here and it's your first time watching my content, I'd like to warmly welcome you to the channel. I'd also like to ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave us a like if this is the type of content you enjoy. Do you like head-to-head? -head? Do you like strange videos? Do you like videos that, um, well, shouldn't really work? Will this work? Guys, also hit those comments below. What's going to happen with this dimpleless golf ball? Today, as you can see, we are not at Huddersfield Golf Club. We're at the beautiful Yaz Lynx. We're going to test it for putting. We're going to test it for chipping. We're going to test it on irons. And we're going to have some fun testing it on Trackman. So without any further ado, we better... Um we better make a start. Also guys, if this is something you're into, make sure you do stay tuned right to the end of this video for an extra special scientific test of which I have no idea about what it's gonna be. But I'm told it's gonna be good, so you're gonna wanna see it. So guys, we are gonna start with the putter. We are using all Titleist clubs in this video because, um, well, I kinda got sprung this idea on me by surprise last night uh, and it was too good to turn down. So we're using a Scotty Cameron Futura 5.5M in 33 degrees of length because, um, Joe's. I'm going to start here on the putting green and generally what I'm expecting isn't necessarily a difference in feel, isn't necessarily a difference in roll. I guess with the putter it could be quite similar couldn't it? You see for me I think the dimple pattern will play a huge role in when the ball's airborne or when it's trying to get airborne. When it's on the ground it's just like playing pool isn't it? Or snooker. So these are dimpled balls to start with, these are standard Titleist Pro V1Xs so there's no excuses for not doing that. We should really just make all three of these, shouldn't we, and then move on. Maybe I should use a 33 inch putter. Oh, flip out. Oh, another miss. So, three not bad putts there. We're now going to go dimpleless. No, I've been wanting to get that joke in, so it's in now. We'll, we'll leave it there. They look oddly satisfying, really. I can't really tell you how this feels because it's a bit strange. It's, it's obviously the same weight as a golf ball. It just feels really, really odd. Right, game of pool. Never been good at pool, funnily enough. Oh, stop it. One out of one. Sounds quite clicky. It is still urethane cover on there, so it's exactly the same material which a Pro V1X cover would be, or is, would be. It's... Uh, Still made out of the same thing. And for me, it actually, from the two puts I've hit, let me hit one more. From the two puts I've hit, it sounds a little bit clickier. Definitely clickier, that's another one in there. Oh. So we have exactly the same record there with both the balls. So at least it's, uh, it's nice and consistent. The dimpleless ball definitely feels clickier, definitely sounds clickier, because sound is feel and feel is sound. Could that be down to the cushioning of the dimple maybe on the milling of the face? Potentially, I'm guessing, but that's what I'm going to go with. I know what you're thinking. Should we play some chips? 60 degree wedge, this is me in my comfort zone. I love getting the ball airborne, love lofting it, love chipping it, love flopping it. Anything around the greens with a lob wedge for me is home. So how's it going to go without dimples? Is it going to spin less? Is it going to slip up the face more? What would you expect, guys? Hit those comments below. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's go dimples first. Go a nice tight lie because, uh, well, why not? Guys, we've got dimple ball first. We're going to go up to that furthest flag. Like I said, I'm usually quite comfortable to generate a little bit of spin. That should go on then, first time. That's my little, little shot that I like, a little jab. That's got to spin. That's all over it. I would have been impressed with that. Are you going to react with no dimples? Joe, I'm having your wedge off you as well. Look at that as well. Tell you what. So basically, so basically there, we've learned that James is a short game genius. 
it, it's not been good this season, but I've been working on it, as you can hopefully see there. How will these react? I'm going to play exactly the same shot. I'm going to try and trap it into the tight lie. Is it going to spin more, less, at all? It looks, it almost looks like an oversized pink. Well, that's exactly what it looks like, because it's a white, a white ball. Same shot. Not bad, has it? That initial thought, what actually launched higher, the rest of the space there as well, it actually popped up a little bit more. Could be dynamic loft, it could be, could be anything. Yeah, that's, that's not spun, that landed shorter. There at the hole. Actually that. So guys, not a bad group in there, and for me, definitely the dimpleless balls, I'll tell you what, they feel different when you hit them up as well. The dimpleless balls definitely didn't spin quite as much. I mean, they still grabbed a little bit. They still, as I said, a urethane cover. So there's that, and actually, there's quite a lot of that urethane left in Joe's wedge. So, um, first time for everything, Joe, eh? And so guys, here we are on the first tee at Yaslinks. It is time for the big dog. And we're gonna judge it with a track, man. We're gonna look at carry distance. We're gonna hit three shots with, one second. We're going to hit three shots with the Titleist Pro V1X and then we're going to go dimpleless. I'm not going to make the joke again. I'm going to see just how much difference it makes. So far, putting chip in. Bit of a difference. A little bit. Right, James. There's no excuses here, guys. This ball has 328 dimples on it. Go like that. Healy. In fairness, that was the first shot in three days. So there's a strong left to right wind. I think it's a strong left to right wind. Anyway, let's go one more with the dimples. Right, guys, this one is getting out there. Left side of the fairway, the wind will bring it back. Wedge into the green, birdie time. There we go. There we go. It's all right, this driver, Joe, in the end. And I don't know why I'm picking the tee up because it is time for dimpleless. I, I should have thought of a nickname for that, but it's too late now. Right, guys, now's the time. Get those comments in. What's going to happen? 328 dimples, no dimples. I'm going to tee it up a little bit. Tee it up a little bit and let it fly. Let's see what the shot tracer does with this. Oh. Um. You see that? <laughs> with um, I think we've just reached the fairway. Can we hit one more as a test? Go We're going to go more. one more, guys, because yeah. it might I might have topped it. I definitely didn't top it. Wouldn't it be interesting, guys, to play a hole with one of these? Hit those comments below if you'd like to see that as well. It might be difficult. That's as good as I've got as well, and it's just it's just um, what have we got there. So, guys, as you can see on the screen here now. Um, Fairly consistent. Now these numbers aren't normalised. It is into a bit of a headwind. Yes, it is yeah. into a headwind. I haven't struck any of them that well, but I mean, let's be fair. There's a clear difference here, isn't there? So, so the dimpleless balls have carried a whopping 106 yards. Even I can't hit it that bad consistently. They've spun at over 3,000. We've got a smash factor of 144. We've got club head speed of 107. Ball speed of 154. And then the longest drive that we hit. Very, very similar numbers, spinning at 2.9, as you can see here, carried 250 something into the wind. So basically, if you think you can use dimpleless golf balls and you're going to save money on the shaping and things, we can't. Also, guys, before you go anywhere, anywhere, we did promise you an extra special test. So, Joe? What do you notice about that, mate? That is a Titleist Pro V1X. Is on the fairway? Um, well, I can hit it. Yeah, try, try it straight straight drive, mate. Straightest. <laughs> right. Remember, it's a headwind. Yeah? Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> if this was your driver, Joe, I'd drop it. <laughs> Wasn't your driver. Right, we're in the fairway, so now what? So, dispersion wise, obviously, we can see on Trapman, very, very straight. 155 ball speed, 25 spin. <laughs> Mate, that's the driver for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, apart from logos anything different about that ball 
do can you see oh, really so, so guys i'm going to throw this up on the screen now we're going to throw it up with a normal pro v1 but i'm going to cover up all the markings do you guys see anything different in one of these balls i i honestly don't know what this is so do i just hit it so what we need to do here is we've got blue arrow we've got red arrow first shot i want you to point the blue arrow straight down the middle of the fairway so like that yeah as though it's like right yeah oh Oh! How did you feel you hit that? I felt like it hit that quite well. Yeah. Where's it gone? Well, we know it's gone left. Yeah. Hmm. The distance was okay. Yeah. Everything's fine though. Yeah. What now? Well, we're back in yards, so two, two, three. Lost a bit. Oh, we've lost a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but spin rate still the same. Launch spin angle, two, four. Launch yeah. angle pretty good. One, five, five ball speed again, pretty much. Now we're going to go red arrow. Red arrow, yeah. okay. Is this one going to go right? Because if it is, I'm not helping you look for it, Joe. I'm putting that out there now. Oh, oh. Um. How'd you hit that? How'd you swing? Again, you know what? I'm swinging all right now. So, guys, we're going to throw this up on screen now. Um. It's actually not done as bad as the one that's left, but I, we all know that I generally do hit it left, so there's that. Um, I don't know, they were both at 40 yards. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty bad. Yep. It's pretty bad. So, Joe, guys, I've been referring to Joe all video. Here he is. Yep. What were they? Good, good news is, mate, it's not you. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> so, basically, what we're doing here, mate, is we're highlighting consistency and dimple pattern. Okay. So, basically, you think mud on the ball. Yes. It's on the left-hand side of the golf ball. Passenger, if we don't know what that is. Yeah when it's on the left hand side of the golf ball, goes right, when it's on the right hand side of the golf ball, it goes left. Okay. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So basically... You can note that down, guy, that's for free, yeah, that one as well. One side of the golf ball's dimple depths were deeper than the other side. Right. But by uh, an absolute minute difference. So even a, a wrong kind of spray paint of the, of yeah. the ball, so when we paint the ball... We'll make a spray, it's the aerodynamics the then, isn't it? It's going to yeah. change the dimple depth, therefore it's going to affect the flight. Yeah. 40 yards left. 40 yards right so if as, as tight list yeah our checks and everything is to make sure that this is consistent yeah to make okay. sure you get performance so so basically what that was was the world's worst qc check basically yeah absolutely mate yeah but obviously a, a proper test yeah we wanted to highlight because uh, you've used a machine yeah r d you guys that do you know what this actually machine. does make a massive difference your golf ball it, it does matter what golf ball you play. Yeah. It does matter how it's made, mm -hmm. and it does matter how consistent it is. Yeah. So what have we learned in this video, guys? Basically, we've learned that you need dimples. Yeah. They need to be in the right place. Yeah. They need to be consistent. Yeah. And that's is that it? It's the tightest. Ah, we don't need to. We don't <laughs> need to go down that road, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do it. You've massively enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. I hope you found it insightful. I like to cover these videos where we always wonder what would happen. What would happen if we didn't do this? What would happen if we didn't have that? If you know where I'm going with it. So basically, if you have any ideas, guys, just post them in the comments below. Email me, text me, whatever you want. Just yeah, just let me know. If you're new here, guys, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Joe, massive thanks Cheers, mate. for having us, mate. I yeah. really appreciate that. Cheers, pal. Guys, and as always, I guess I'll just really look forward to seeing you tomorrow.